This video pertains to all fire department personnel involved with fire apparatus operator techniques. This video is a guide for the firefighter specialist practical exam and does not cover all standards for apparatus operations. This concludes the engine compartment pre-trip checkoff event. We will now uh, proceed with the brake test. We would like you to do a circle of safety and check the mirrors before we start this event. Do you have any questions? No, sir. The pre-trip air brake test is required by the DMV for all Class B licensed drivers. This test shall cover all components of the air brake check. Before starting the brake check, the candidate will check his or her mirrors and do a quick circle of safety on the apparatus. During this time, place a chalk block against the downhill side of the rear wheel. The candidate's time will start when they engage the starter motor. I'm ready to start my air brake test. Time will start for this event when you turn on the ignition switch. Time will end for this event when you complete your service brake test. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Start air test. Turn on ignition switch. Time starts now. Prior to starting engine, pump service brakes until air gauge reads about 70 to 80 PSI. Start engine. Governor cutout test. When air pressure stops rising at idle, air dryer may release. Give reading for both primary and secondary air gauges. The maximum cutout pressure is 130 PSI. Governor cut in test. Pump service brake pedal slowly. Push and hold for three seconds, then release and wait for four seconds, then repeat if necessary until governor cuts in. The minimum cut in pressure is 85 PSI. Continually watch air gauge needles for upward movement. If gauges do not move upward, continue to pump brake slowly. Release about 5 PSI each time until governor cuts in. The gauges will start to move upward. Build air back to maximum pressure. Give reading for both primary and secondary air gauges. Static air test. Place vehicle in neutral. Turn off engine. Turn on ignition switch. Do not start engine. Release emergency parking brakes. Wait for the system to settle. Verbalize primary and secondary air gauges. Time, 60 seconds. Gauges should not drop more than 2 PSI within 60 seconds. Applied air test. With emergency parking brakes still released, apply and hold service brake pedal for 60 seconds, no more than 30 PSI. Wait for the system to settle. Verbalize primary and secondary air gauges. 
Gauges should not drop more than 3 PSI within 60 seconds. Low air warning test. Do not start engine. Pump service brake pedal slowly until low air buzzer light activates. It should activate between the minimum and maximum of 55 PSI to 75 PSI. Verbalize primary and secondary air gauges. Pop-out test. Pump service brake pedal slowly until emergency valve pops out. Emergency activation should be around 45 PSI and no less than 20 PSI. Verbalize primary and secondary air gauges. Air recovery. Start engine. Bring engine to 1200 RPM using fast idle switch. Build air pressure to 85 PSI on both primary and secondary air gauges. Time will start when both primary and secondary air gauges equal 85 PSI. Verbalize start time. Build air pressure to 100 PSI at 1200 RPM. Air pressure should build and recover within 45 seconds from 85 PSI to 100 PSI at 1200 RPM. Verbalize stop time when both primary and secondary air gauges equal 100 PSI. This will assure that the air compressor is building at the normal rate. Build air pressure to maximum cutout pressure before exiting cab. Turn off fast idle. Tug test, maxi brake. Exit cab, remove jock block, and return it to the compartment. Candidates shall state to all passengers, buckle seat belts. Can anybody please fasten their seat belt? Ready. Put transmission in D drive. Accelerate foot throttle no more than 1,000 RPM. Gently tug against emergency brakes. Tug test, column trolley brake. Apply service foot brake pedal. Release emergency parking brakes. Simultaneously apply trolley handbrake valve, no more than 30 PSI, and release service foot pedal brake. Accelerate foot throttle, no more than 1000 RPM. Gently tug against service brakes. Simultaneously release trolley handbrake valve and apply service foot pedal brake, no more than 30 PSI. Service brake test. Drive vehicle forward. Lift hands from the steering wheel. Apply service brake pedal sharply. There is no abrupt movement, left to right, I am done. Verbalize any abrupt movement, left or right. The candidate has now finished the air brake test and has completed the pre-trip portion of the exam. The candidate will remain in the cab and start the driving event. This is not a full DMV pre-trip inspection. 
For information on the engine compartment pre-trip, refer to the 2010 Firefighter Specialist Practical Handbook. Mm-hmm.